Welcome. In front of me is a Nokia 8.3 and today I will show you how to bypass the Google verification. And as you can see the phone in front of me is locked so I would need either the Google account or the pattern that was previously set. If I can actually quickly get to it, there we go. But to bypass this we can simply go back to the first page and start off by changing the language to any kind of other language that has a different keyboard. So basically anything from up here below will work, choose whichever one you want. And again, let's progress through the setup back to the Google verification page. From here, once you tap on a field, it will bring up the keyboard. And what you want to do now is hold the globe icon. And from here, so tap on the select language, which is the last option, the blue text. Add a keyboard. And from here, select any keyboard that doesn't have an arrow. As you can see, basically anyone from here can work. If you scroll down, you have a couple with an arrow. So any uh, keyboard without an arrow will work. Once you tap on it, you want to then tap on the blue button right here to add it. And go back. Basically go back to the first page. And change the language back to your desired one so for me it's going to be english and again let's again progress through the setup and again let's hold the globe icon this time around you want to tap on the qwerty which is the middle option just so we can change the uh, keyboard and then hold it again and go again to the language settings add a keyboard and this time around scroll down and choose an option with an arrow so as you can see albanian is one of them let's tap on it from here, tap on the three dots, go to help and feedback. And in the describe your issue field, all you want to do is type in a Morse code or you can just type in two first letter M O and we'll bring it up as suggested. So use Morse code. From here, tap on a play button. It will load it. And from here, you will see three dot option has appeared in the corner. So you want to tap on it and select watch later. And this in turn will open up your web browser. So from here, let's just accept and continue and turn off syncing. We don't really care about it, so no thanks. Tap on a field at the top and navigate to hard reset that info website. There we go, hard reset that info. Let's go. And from here, you want to tap on the three bars right up here. Go to the download card category and in the search bar you want to type in Android 7.1.2. I'm gonna just kind of shorten it and write Android 7. Point. And oops, there we go. It is right here, the second option. So Android 7.1.2 and also 10. Click on the download. Scroll down and here you'll see again the download link. Now instead of actually tapping on it, you want to hold it and choose to open an incognito tab. There's a second option right here. And then OK and let it download it. Now we're opening it up in incognito because there is a, sometimes a problem with the link never finishing the download. Um, basically gets to 100% and never finishes and opening it up in incognito basically solves that problem. So once it's done, you want to tap on open. And before we can actually install it, we'll need to allow unknown sources. So let's tap on settings, allow from this source. So check that on and go back, install. And then open it up continue cool okay so from here just close it will bring up this window several more times that it has crashed but it doesn't really matter so now you want to go back and once you're back in the browser tap on the bar search bar right there and now you want to type in hard reset that info slash bypass like so 
If you need a moment to write it down, uh, pause the video, I'm just gonna progress further. And from here, you can see there's a bunch of apps right here, but what you wanna do is scroll down till you see the settings app, simply tap on it and it will open up the phone settings. And here you wanna scroll down to apps and notification, tap on see all 28 apps, then tap on three dots right there and select show system and scroll down to G. Okay, so once you're at the G point uh, of letters, you want to look for Google Play Services and Play Store. They're basically right next to each other. So you can start with Play Services, tap on it, and then you want to select Disable. Disable app. Let's agree. So as you can see, it is now disabled. The option now changed to Enable, but just leave it like that. Go back and choose Google Play Store. Again, Disable, Disable app and go back and you should see that both of them are disabled which is you can see disabled right under the size and disabled once you see that you can go back back once more to the main settings page and from here you want to tap on accounts and choose add account and you can see that there is a google option so let's select it and in here simply log in with your google account so for me i'm gonna use my own. Uh, now you can use an existing account if you want to or you can also create one just for this purpose if you don't feel safe about it. It really doesn't matter what account you use. So I'm gonna use mine like I said. And now I'm gonna put in my password. Okay, so as you can see now it's logged in. Let's tap on I agree. And there we go, you can see there is our account that we have just added. So once you see that account, go back and you want to go back to the apps and notifications and re-enable the two apps that we have disabled. So again, CL28, top three dots, show system, scroll down to G. Oops, didn't want to click it. Let's go further. There we go. And you want to re-enable the two apps, so tap on it. Enable, go back, tap on the other one, enable, go back. Uh, now again, as you can see, the app keeps crashing, but if you're wondering, it doesn't really matter anymore. Uh, this app that keeps crashing allowed us to add a Google account. Without it, uh, the option for Google uh, to actually add the Google account would not have been visible in the accounts list. And uh, that was uh, the purpose of it. So. Like I said, it doesn't really matter that it's crashing. It has done its purpose and that's good. So once you have enabled the two applications, hold Parky and select restart. Okay. And again, once the device rebooted, you want to select your language if it's not already at the correct language and progress to the setup once more. Now you will see a Huge difference now once we get to the verify account part. So give it a second. Now again, this will keep appearing several more times. So just completely disregard it. And there it is. So you can see account added and it is the account that I have added, uh, well, throughout the bypass. And this is also the screen that would be for tell us to verify our old account. Now it's just kind of like, oh, account added, cool. Let, let, you can progress. So simply disregard this um, message and finish up the setup. And disregard any kind of pop-up that shows up. Now, before you click away on of the video thinking that the process is finished, I will right now say that it is not yet complete. So what we want to do is right now, basically finish it up as quick as possible and not really bother setting up anything specific. And once you're on the home screen, what you want to do is go into the settings and perform a factory reset all the device through settings. Now, if you're not sure where to find it, I'm gonna finish this up and simply show it. So, okay, there we go. Let's go into the settings right over here. Scroll all the way down to system, up on advanced, 
and select Reset Options. And at the bottom here you have Erase All Data Factory Reset. Once you tap on it, it gives you a message that this will remove things like your Google account, primarily, and it provides us with the account that we have added to perform the bypass, but it will also remove the account that was previously blocking us, which is not actually listed here. So, tap on Reset Phone, Reset Phone, and let the device basically unlock itself. And as you can see, we're back in the setup screen. So from here, again, let's select our language. English, there we go. And again, progress through the setup. Now this time around, you can set it up as however you like. The device is fully unlocked. If you want to skip Wi-Fi connection, you are totally free to do so, which would not have been possible if the device would still be locked. So I'm gonna basically skip everything just to speed it up uh, so I don't have to waste too much time but you can set up however you like. And there we go, we're finished with the setup. There was nothing extra that we needed to do, it just allowed us to do it normally. So that is how you would bypass the Google verification here. And if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.